Hey everyone, it's Shaw from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. This week we are going to continue our Valentine's Day theme with feelings and friendship with some tweaks as always. We've added a few different activities, we've changed a few activities, and I also want to show you some snippets of what we did last week. So let me give you a classroom tour and show you around. So part of our theme that um, for Valentine's theme is the post office and we have a post office in part of our dramatic play area that I'll show you in a moment. We do the post office because the children love to pretend that they are delivering notes to each other. So it ties in really well with the Valentine theme. So in our block area on our train table, we have a little scene where we have a post office and we have a roadway and we have some vehicles, including some mail trucks that the children can drive around. And then they were pretending to build um, with the blocks. They were making little houses so that um, the mail trucks could deliver mail to each of the homes. Part of our dramatic play area, we have our very simple post office. We have our mailboxes and our mail bags and some mail hats. And then I also have my free uh, printable, the post office sign. And then there's also um, a post office color page. And then the children had so much fun putting the envelopes into the mailbox taking it out, putting them back in, taking it out. And they also loved all, putting them all into the mail bags and then walking around the room. And it tied in nicely with our Valentine's um, station that I'll show you in a moment because the children were making Valentine's over there and then bringing them over to the mailbox to pretend that they were mailing them. In the other side, on the other side of our dramatic play area, we had an Italian restaurant and we were pretending to have Valentine's dinner at our Italian restaurant. And the young ch our young children love, um, they were loving to talk about what kind of pizza they liked. The pizza was a huge hit. We had a little pizza box and they kept putting it in the box and taking it out and using the pizza slicer because those um, pizza slices are, um, they're, uh, they're stuck together with Velcro. So they just, they can come apart. So the children were really having fun with that. And there were some really nice conversations about what kind of pizza do you like and what kind of pasta do you like. So that was a fun um, addition to our dramatic play area. Last week at our water table, we worked on our fine motor skills by using droppers and we would squeeze the water into the dropper and then release it into the heart-shaped little, um, their little baking cups. And the ch this was a, such a fun way for them to work on their squeezing skills while also filling the hearts with water. So that was really fun for our Valentine's theme. This week, um, we have some, I took, somebody gave us a bunch of foam hearts. So I thought how fun it would be to put the hearts in water. So I'm going to fill both of those sides with just a little bit of water and then we're going to put the hearts in them and then the children are going to use the, um, they can either use the strainers or they can use the tweezers to pull the hearts out of the water. So this will be another fun fine motor activity for our Valentine's theme. Last week we introduced the kindness elves to our children. I brought them to our circle time and I told them about how the kindness elves are looking for friends who are doing good things, nice things for each other. And the children each got to carefully hold the um, kindness elves while I read the story of the kindness elves. So this has been a fun addition to our classroom. I, I like doing this. I've been doing this for, I think this is my third year and I'll drop a link to the kindness elves in the description because it's not something just for Valentine's, but you can have a kindness classroom the whole entire year um, using the kindness elves. And then we have our Valentine's station that we also had last week. This was a big hit when we had a teacher sitting nearby to kind of show the children how to use the materials. Our younger ones needed to have a little bit of assistance in figuring out how to use the stamp pads and the markers and putting them into the mailbox. But once they got going, they were wanting to make Valentines for their parents and their brothers and sisters and for each other. And we have our little mailbox that I shared last week that the children made. It's our classroom mailbox. 
So they've been having fun putting their Valentines into that box and then of course taking them out. Or they also loved taking the their hearts or Valentine hearts that they made and bring, taking them over to the mailboxes in our post office and mailing them. And our light table is staying the same. We have our red window blocks and we have some red translucent blocks. We have a um, some heart-shaped containers and we have pom-poms and then we have little heart-shaped gems. And as I said last week, the heart-shaped gems are for our older preschoolers, not for our younger ones because of choking hazard. Um, but so those we will not be using with our younger ones. Then at our easel, we are going to be driving cars through paint and then making tracks on heart-shaped paper. We did this last week as an art activity on a flat surface and they loved it so much and no surprise because our children love driving cars through paint. So I am going to then have now have it at the easel. We did put it at the easel just towards the end of our morning on our last day last week just because I wanted to see how it would work out. And they loved it. And it puts the wrist at a different um, angle than on a flat surface, so it's an extra fine motor. And they just loved pushing the cars and pulling the cars up and down the easel. One of our art activities this week is going to be making just a simple Valentine collage. So we have, they can choose between different colors of paper if they want pink, purple, or red. And then I have some, um, heart doilies, we have them in pink. I also have some white ones I'll bring out. I found some fun Valentine cupcake wrappers at TJ Maxx and I just flattened them out so they can press those on there as well. I have pom-poms and then we also have these foam um, hearts that they can glue on as well. Another simple art activity that we are going to be doing this week is putting watercolors on heart-shaped paper. Now this is a printable, it's a template that I have. I'll drop a link in the description. I'm making this so easy for you because I needed something really easy um, this week because we're also gonna be having our Valentine celebration. So they're just gonna be brushing the watercolors. I actually printed them onto cardstock so they're a little bit heavier. And then I cut them out and then they're just gonna use the watercolors I have um, some red, and then I also have some silver to add a little bit of shimmer on there. And again, just a super easy and fun art activity. And let me show you some of the art activities that we did last week for our Valentine theme. One of them was making our Valentine's bags. And we just simply, actually my co-teacher from long ago, she, um, she took some candy, some tin candy containers, and she just had her husband drill a hole through, and he put a little, um, he put a little block on the top to make a handle. And he did this both with the container's lid and also the container itself. And they, the children really loved using those because of the handle. The handle makes it so much easier. And then we also have this little cookie cutter that has a handle on it as well. So they were doing a lot of tapping the um, paint onto the bag. And then what we're gonna do is I'm going to put a heart with their picture on it and their name, and I'm just gonna open these up. And we're gonna hang them out in the hallway and then when the children arrive with their parents, they're, they're gonna distribute their Valentines into the bags. So these are just super simple Valentine holders that we made using white craft bags. And I have a blog post that shows how we make these. I'll drop a link in the description. Another um, art activity that we did last week, um, we, I took the cardboard, we had a cardboard box and I thought I would just use a cookie cutter and I traced on the cardboard around the cookie cutter and then cut these out. And every child had a cardboard heart and then they painted with, it's a combination of paint and glue because I wanted it to be sticky and I put some shimmer uh, glitter glue in there as well to give it a shimmer. And then they just pressed these pom poms on top and then I put a little ribbon on it so we can hang it in the classroom. I also wanted to show you something that we did that was totally off plan because I wanted you to know that it's okay to go off plan because that means you are listening to your children's interests. And as we walk to and from our gym, there are some large windows that we pass that look out into a courtyard. And 
we noticed that we were starting to see birds coming out. And so we thought, you know, the birds probably are pretty hungry. And we talked about what we could do about that. And so we decided to make bagel bird feeders using sun butter. And so we came back to class, we made these with sun butter and then they sprinkled the bird seed on top. Great for fine motor skills. And then before we hung them, we took another walk. We went outside and we listened and we could hear the birds and then we could see the birds. So we went back and we got our bird feeders and we hung them in the trees and the shrubs that are outside of our classroom window. And we're going to be observing if we notice that the birds are eating from our little bird feeders. But again, this was something that wasn't in the plan, but because we, the children were showing an interest, I added it. Our sensory bin is the same as last week. We have our dyed rice and we have our heart-shaped confetti. We have our paper mache heart boxes and we have scoops. And the children have loved scooping the dried rice into the heart boxes. I knew they would then dumping them out and scooping them and dumping that again. And they also enjoyed pressing the felt shape hearts. They would press them into the boxes and then of course shake them all out again. So the fun, fine motor activity that we will once again be doing this week. One of our activities this week is working on shapes. And this is a, a shape printable that I have, a free one that I'll put a link in the description. And you can do it two ways. For I made one copy and I cut them all out. So they have to put them together and they can do this like this. Or for younger children, you can first, you can have, make two copies. One you'll keep intact and then you'll cut apart the other. So the children can visually see it and then they can just place it right on top. And then the older children, you don't even use this. You just simply, they just simply put the pieces together so they can see the shapes just like that. Another activity that we have, this one is for scissor practice is that um, I have this free printable, I'll put a link in the description. I copied it onto cardstock so it's a little bit heavier. And then the children are simply going to start cutting at the bottom and following the line up to the heart or to the pictures that are at the top. And then in our Play-Doh table, we have heart-shaped cookie cutters and we have our silicone, heart baking cups that are always a favorite with Play-Doh. And then we have some cupcake toppers that are heart shaped that the children loved, poking into the Play-Doh, pretending they were candles, of course, taking them out, poking them back into the Play-Doh, and on and on and on. Great fine motor fun. And then some of the books that we'll be reading, In My Heart, Penguin in Love, Countdown to Valentine's Day, and Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. And we actually looked at In My Heart last week, but I wanna go through it again this week because it's such a favorite. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our Valentine's theme, week two, along with friends and family. And if you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I publish a new video. Thanks for watching.